Hi guys. So this is how to remove the blanking plate without removing the oil cooler housing. The blanking plate is there. So that there. That's the blanking plate. And I will show you what the blanking plate look like. So this is actually the blanking plate that was in there. The o-ring here is worn. That's why it has a coolant leak. So obviously we, we managed to remove the complete uh, unit. Like, uh, first of all, you don't have to be aggressive on removing this thing because this thing is very fragile and it will break up inside if you like remove it quickly. So what, what you do is you have to fry up with a flathead screwdriver and you want to fry up and then you're gonna wiggle it like, like that wiggle until it gets soft to turn and when it gets soft to turn then that's fry out again and then it will remove the whole lot without uh, breaking the parts on the inside because if you break this part on the inside then that will be nightmare of yours you're gonna need a picker long picker to get the uh, remaining parts if it is break breaking but uh, this part here wasn't break so we don't need picker so here to confirm that the uh, thing is good here you need a mirror to have a look on the inside as you can see as you can see here, I don't know if you can see, but uh, I can see from here, very clear, it's clean on the inside, because we particularly removed the uh, blanking plate completely, you know, so it's clean on the inside, and then we're gonna put the new one, so this is the new one here, we're gonna put it back, like here, so it's very difficult with one hand. So the blank plate is in, as you can see. Now what we're going to do, we're gonna align that one through the bolt holes. We're gonna align this one to the bolt holes in here. Okay. So we just wiggle it until it gets in. Just keep on wiggle it and then align it to the bolt hole. So we had 